Good morning everybody. It's Friday morning. It's about quarter past nine. Taking it nice and slow today. There's no need to jump up. Pete doesn't have to be anywhere till later. Ash doesn't have to leave till 11. It's nice and chilly. It's a proper fall day today. I figured I would share it with you. Everyone's out. <laughs> Leaf blowing and stuff. Look how pretty the skies are. Oh yeah, I'm shut the window, it's cold. This poor Ashley left for work an hour ago. It's been trying to find a parking spot. Couldn't find one. Had to come home. And we're dropping her off now and going to the grocery store while I have Pete's help. That one's really red. Make sure I'm recording this time. Went just went to the grocery store, got some granulated sugar, three cans of uh, peach chunky, three potatoes. Gonna make some mash tonight. Sea salt, lint, some bananas, some family favorite stringless sugar peas, sugar snap, three bread rolls, three little pizzas, low sodium ham, roast beef, and Swiss cheese. Some chicken salad. These are new out, these chicken palm breaded stuffed chicken. Tonight we're going to have this ham. Five bottles of Coke. Then we got some Dunkin' Donuts creamer, some crispy round Tostitos, and some salt and vinegar. Ash has been on a bit of a salt and vinegar kick. And some Irish Spring aloe. With all the lovely uh, shower gels we use, Pete prefers his Irish Spring. 12 double rolls of toilet paper. I got a new mop. I need a new mop for the kitchen because my kitchen floor is a disaster. I got some English stuff that came. This is the order I ordered while my mother was here. It just arrived this morning. A Mars advent calendar. A Milky Bar advent calendar. Ashley loves magic stars. Some walnut whips. Some orange squash. Some cars, cheese melts, crackers. Some love hearts, of course. Aero biscuits and these fish and chip things are amazing. So, we got some of those. I ordered a cake. So, here's my cake. I thought I was ordering a chocolate log cake. Nope. It's a truffle. I'm so annoyed. This little truffle was $5. And I thought I was ordering a log cake for Christmas. Hi everybody, it is quarter past three. Opened up my Avon boxes that came this morning and uh, got a few things. But I saw this new one this time called a new Vital, is it Vital? Vitali? I don't know. And it's a day cream. They have all different ones obviously. It's in pink. And I decided to get this and I opened it up and I am very happy because the smell of it it's really nice. It's actually fresh. It kind of reminds me of the number seven that I wear. So I'm really pleased about that. So I got the day cream and then I picked up one of the eye gels. Is it gel? Yep. Eye gel cream. There you go. And then I got one of these five piece sets of the Skin So Soft. Oh, there's Pete. Hold on. So let me tell you what happened before I forget. Ashley went to work this morning. She was on a 12 to 5 or 12 to 6. It depends. Um, she's on 12 to 5 but on call till 6. So she leaves an hour early, which is more than enough time. She only goes to work 10 minutes down the road. And um, she calls me around 20 past 11. She'd been gone half an hour. She said, I can't find a parking spot anywhere. Can I drive home and then you drive me back to work? And I feel really bad because she leaves with enough time so that way she can get there and she's not stressed running in. But what they've done, one of the 12-hour parking lots, 
they've closed it down to retar it, which is fine, but why would they pick a Friday afternoon when that whole avenue is full of employees that need to find somewhere to park? She said, and people were getting really nasty. She was one woman, actually, she was waiting for a spot, and this woman came from behind Ashley and went around her and jumped in the spot. Ashley said, I felt like getting out of my car and saying, I've got to go to work, do you mind? Because this spot's like, you know, on the avenue itself, they're two hour parking spots. But anyway, so she came all the way home. She called her job and told them, I am here, but I have to go home and my parents are going to drive me back to work because there's nowhere to park. And she explained that the parking lot was closed down. So we drove her back and I'm telling you, we got to the top of the avenue and it was bumper to bumper. But she got there at like 12 on the dot. Um, even though she told them she was going to be five or ten minutes late, she got there on the dot. So now we have to go back and pick her up either at five or six whenever she gets off work. But I just felt so bad. She's like, I, you know, am I going to have to start giving myself an hour and a half now just to find a parking spot? Oh, it's okay, Rob. <laughs> I have my window open a little bit and it just blew in and frightened her half to death. Come here, buddy. You okay? <laughs> She's looking at me like, what's happening? We'll wait to hear from her now and we'll have to go pick her up. And I've been forgetting all week. Every time I edit my vlog at night, I'm like, ugh, i got to colour my hair. And I have a colour, but because I get up in the morning, I forget all about it. So what I'm going to have to do now is take it out, put it on the sink tonight. So that way when I wake up in the morning, I can just plonk it on my hair and just get rid of these roots. But anyway, I'm going to go sit and chill with this coffee because we've been on the go since we left here at 11.30. And it's now 3.30. Katie's not coming today, but I think I told you that yesterday. So I will see her on Monday. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic Friday. So far, I will touch base with you in a bit. See, it's okay, sweetheart. That's just, it's a breeze, bud. Yeah, I'll pull them out, I know. It's okay. But anyway, I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. And we will definitely touch base with you shortly, won't we, Rox? Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye. Is back from work. We're cooking a ham for dinner. I have tomorrow off now. Yeah. Woo! In a row. Yeah, it would have been eight days in a row. What are we watching? <laughs> Christmas vacation. Just It's what blankets are for. We got to conserve our heat, well, our oil, right, right, Roxy? Roxy, <laughs> you over exaggerate, oh, and you're all fuzzy now. You forget you have a heated blanket that you can hook up. He did last night. I had last night. Ham and potatoes. Again, no veg. Tut, tut, tut. But we have Ash home for dinner. Okay. Movie number even two. Have a play button. <laughs> it just starts. Dinner's done. Do you want to just take the plate out? Oh, you worked. Pete's still eating. Say good night. 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 Right. Roxy's like, I dance for you, Ash. Let's see everybody tomorrow. The question of the day is, what are you doing this weekend? I'm gonna go watch the Christmas story. Yep, told you about all that, right? It's above me. Roxy's licking my finger. So I'm gonna, gonna go give. I'm gonna get a goodie. Here I go again with the go giving the girls a whirl. Didn't even <laughs> make any sense. Not cold. Not all of us are freezing, you know. Louis, you're out of focus. There you are.